a long time no see. So I just thought I'd come on here and share what I've been going through for the last couple days, a few days, almost a week now. It's been a wild ride for sure. It's been emotional and hard, but I'm here. I'm still at the hospital. I have been at the hospital since March 20th. Today is March 26th, so I've been here for about six days now. If you haven't seen my posts, um, I posted in the community tab that they I had been flown to, to a hospital in the Phoenix area on March 20th due to bleeding. Currently, I am 23 weeks and three days as of today. Today is March 26th. Let me just start from the very beginning. So last week on March 20th, on Wednesday, um, I woke up, I actually woke up late. I normally end up getting up at 5 in the morning, but that day I ended up waking up late. About 6.15, um, went to the bathroom, did my business. When I wiped, there was blood on there. So I quickly called my husband. I was like, there's blood. And he's like, what do we do? So I was like, we have to go to the hospital. So I get in the shower, take a three minute shower, and then I get all dressed and everything. I get the girls up and I told my husband, you get the babies up, change them, and I'll get the girls and call my mom and let her know what's going on so we can take the kids over there. So we got the kids ready everybody's changed and ready to go I just told the girls you know what girls get up and it's emergency we're going to the hospital um, just change grab your backpacks we're gonna take you guys to grandma's I told the same thing to the boys the boys my two older boys I said boys we have to go to the hospital um, just get ready for school and you guys don't worry about me we're gonna head to the hospital you guys get to school so we take the girls to my mom's house drop them off and we take the three little ones to my mother-in-law's drop them off and we head on to the hospital during the whole drive i could feel the baby kicking and moving um so i i wasn't very worried we do have a 45 minute drive from my house to the hospital so um we got to the hospital about 7.30, 7.45-ish maybe. Anyways, as soon as I step out of my car, a big gush of blood comes. I could feel it just dripping off. At this point, I'm screaming and crying, and my husband comes on over and helps me get out of the car, and we walk into the emergency room, and there's, like, blood dripping behind me all over the, you know, behind me. I get into the window and the lady looks back and she tells me what's going on. I said, I'm 22 weeks pregnant. And she tells me, what's your date of birth and give me your name. So I gave her that and they rushed me to um, to the labor and delivery. As soon as I get up to labor and delivery, um, they help me take off my clothes, get in a gown, and everybody comes rushing trying to find the baby's heartbeat. And I, I let them know that I could feel the baby moving throughout the whole drive. And they found it. They said, okay, baby looks good. Everything looks good. Um, as soon as they could, they came in with an ultrasound. Did an ultrasound. And they thought that uh, my placenta was detaching. They thought it was a placental abruption. So... After the scan, it showed, I guess there was blood around by the baby's head. They did not tell me this, but I overheard one of the nurses say that they thought that the baby had a, like, a bleed in the baby's head. My OB doctor comes in, and he's like, well, we looked at your x-rays from your 20-week scan. It, everything looked good, but right now it looks like there's a placental abruption. We're going to have to fly you to Phoenix in case you have the baby because there's not enough, you know, there's no NICU in our small hospital. 
So at that point, I call everybody, I let them know what's going on, and we get on, they lay me on the bed and get me ready to go and fly me out. That was about 12 o'clock. Um, we got to the house, it was like a one, sorry, I've got phone calls and messages from everybody. Um, we get to the hospital here around one o'clock, I think, and they did the same thing, tried, they looked for the baby's heartbeat, everything was fine. Um, at this point, I just had some light bleeding, no more gushing or anything, just like spotting. And they said, we're going to get you an ultrasound, a level two ultrasound and, um, and all that. And they got lots of blood work. So on Thursday, about one o'clock, um, the ultrasound person came. They did a full scan of the baby, a full scan of my placenta and everything. They also did a vag vaginal ultrasound. Um, and they said the baby looked good. There was no bleed in the brain, thank God. Um, but they did say that my placenta was really low, within two centimeters of my cervix. Now this is the cervix and my placenta was like right here. Um, that's not, they didn't tell me it was placenta previa. And they also did say that they saw, they saw two blood clots. Um, by the umbilical cord, which they think that that might have stopped the bleeding and which was good, they said, but they they did tell me that they were about four centimeters, two of them. And when they did the other ultrasound, they did say that they saw that maybe the bleeding was caused by the placenta because it looked like it was a little bit bruised. I asked them if my cervix was dilated at all or anything, but they said it didn't look like it was. So that's good. Anyways, I was that was on Thursday. Friday, I just had spotting, no bleeding whatsoever, just mild spotting. Saturday, no spotting, nothing. Sunday, I was fine all day, up until about three in the morning. I got up to go to the bathroom, and that's when I felt another gush. So I pull on the little string that's in the bathroom and three nurses rush in the bathroom and like, what's going on? What's happened? And I just tell them, I'm like, I, I just felt a gush. There's blood everywhere, like on the toilet, obviously. But so they help me get up and come into the bed. They draw some more blood and then one of the doctors comes in and she goes, I'm just going to check your cervix to see how much bleeding there is. So she checked my cervix and did like a swab thing. She said there wasn't much blood in there, but there was like a blood clot that was coming out. <laughs> I'm sorry, TMI. But she said she removed the blood clot. And she said it could have been one of the blood um, clots that was up by the placenta. And um, it could have just popped. That's what probably caused the bleeding. So anyways, um, and all the blood work came back fine. And the blood work that they took was to see how fast my blood would clot, to see if I had like low platelets, I think they said. And everything looked good. So they kept me on the monitors just to make sure baby was good and I didn't make sure it wasn't contractions, which everything looked good. So Monday, which was yesterday, um, I had no more bright red bleeding, um, just like brown spotting. So, and today has been the same, nothing's been changed, nothing. I did tell the nurse yesterday that I was feeling dizzy and lightheaded. They checked my blood pressure and everything was good. So I'm thinking, because I get like this whenever I'm really stressed out. So I'm think I told the nurse, I think it's probably just stress. When I'm feeling stressed or, you know, I just feel dizzy and lightheaded. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Um, 
anyway so overall today it is looking good I've just been resting all day laying in bed um, my husband came yesterday he stayed the night here um, he brought me lots of stuff <laughs> clothes and my sparkling waters and I asked him to bring me my favorite candy bars and he just brought me all kinds of stuff and um, um, yeah, he brought me some, my kids wrote me some letters, so he brought that. So it's been a very, it's been a roller coaster of emotions, not gonna lie. It's been hard, but, um, I do trust that God has got this and he knows, um, God knows what, um, God knows what his plans are. So I just have to trust in him and, you know, I just trust in the Lord and what he has in plans for us and for this baby. Anyways, I think that is it for now. Um, I hope that everything continues smoothly from here on out. I am a little bit worried that the other blood clot is like going to pop or something. And happened the same thing as the last time but I hope not um, they did say that what they don't like to do ultrasounds every week because the baby doesn't grow so I'll probably get an ultrasound next week which would be like two weeks from <clears throat> from my stay here um, just because they say that the baby doesn't grow enough in a week and they didn't tell me that because my placenta is down by the cervix. This would be the placenta and this would be the cervix. That sometimes as the baby gets bigger, the placenta moves up higher. So that is what we're hoping for. That is what we're praying for. Um, anyways, thank you so much for your prayers. Please continue to pray for this baby and myself that everything goes smoothly. Everything is back to normal um so we we can get home um my husband did have to leave today because it was snowing over there and we he had a four and a half hour drive so i'm here by myself um so thank you everybody for your support for your prayers for your love um and i do have Four, I think I have four other videos that I need to edit before all this happened so I'm gonna try to edit those videos and still post them even though they're gonna be way way behind anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time I will be sure to keep you updated um, I'm sorry this video is very choppy <laughs> um, it took me a while to actually get up and have all this energy to record and and figure out what to say and um, it's just been hard. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll see you next time.